Okay, heading up on Schmoyle, a Rust console dish. We're going to do a tour. Just full disclosure for anybody who's joined recently. This is a PvE. This is Builder's Paradise. So the scientists will actually get damaged by doing damage to me. So uh, all we got to do is just fix the heals or the bleeding with uh, bandages and we're good to go. Know what I mean? Obviously this is all coming to main branch. There's still some bugs happening here as you guys have all seen. Oh, okay, that's right. Come on, buddy. Well, they're supposed to get knocked down. Let's see. Oh, he did. He got wrecked. Sweet. I'll take your heels, my guy. Boom! Okay, let's make some bandages, shall we? That's the beauty of PvE. If somebody deals damage, it does damage right back to them. Now, other things can still get you, yes. Okay, um, this is what we were talking about the other day. Uh, Schmoyle, I mean, large and small oil rig have their pros and cons. Uh, the beauty to small oil rig is you can make the approach a lot easier after you take out Mr. Doc Man here. Uh, let's see, we have four different points we call this. We have Torch side, which is right here in the south. We have Dock side, which is pretty self-explanatory. Then we have Helicopter side, which is west. And what do we call this side? I forget. Or is that helicopter side? I forget. Hold on. We've been doing large too much. I'm confused now. And this is crane side? Crane side. Oh my goodness, I got wet. That's bad. We're in the cold biome. Whoops. Shouldn't have gotten the water. Anyways. So if I say that, that's what that means. Alright, here we go. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Oh, you know what? Your boy's still bleeding here. Let me go ahead and fix that. <laughs> Uh, here's another way up here. You got the crusty ladders up by the propane tanks. Um, this one's really nice because this elbow piece, you can really funnel a lot of these scientists. But have no illusions. These guys are tough, okay? They're not like the scientists you find on the side of the road, and they will push you. It's best to kite them down one by one, but uh, if you get overwhelmed, the best thing you can do... This guy. Give me! If you get overwhelmed, the best thing you can do is back up and shoot him at range. Nice. Okay, see what I mean? PvE all day. And then if you have a uh, edge weapon, you can use it to harvest the bodies and get more cloth. Although since we're PvE, that might do damage to me, so I'm not going to do it. You know, I'm going to skinny up a bit because it's too hot out here. Hi! Hello, Randy! Hi! Look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, normally you'd be pulling these guys down one by one. Um, just a, a quick little stat fix here. Uh, honestly, I think things with... Uh, if you've got the money for it, obviously go big. Go big with this. Jeez, this guy's everywhere. I'm a big fan of taking something that has pistol ammo. I don't know how well you get these guns. Um, oddly enough, the P2 is kind of a monster in this situation. So is the Python. And, uh, you get more bullets. Come on, one more here. Let's go. Boom. Is that... Is that the crate I'm hearing beeping? It is. Hey guys, what's up? High five! Woo! Come on, get me, buddy. So this staircase right here is actually uh, very critical. The main staircase is back here that you always want to fall back to. Again, if you get overwhelmed, the best thing you can do is get back on your boat, take something like a compound bow, and get them at range and then push back in. But I think the biggest threat on any oil rig run is always other players at any time, whether they come up on you or you come up on them. Hey, Steve! Perfect. And it's nice. The um, the different key cards you can bring along with you are actually pretty nice because you don't really need a fuse at all. You just swipe the card. So it's nice. 
Oh, look at this. Thanks for the free loot. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go upstairs. I definitely hear the hackable crate going on. So that's level two. Here's level three. I'm sure we're going to pull some more. There's one. Hey, cutie. Is that probably from another player? Kind of. Hey, buddy. Hey, Randy. What's up? You guys are going to see how crazy the heavies are. And again, there's still some glitches here on the testing branch. That's the main reason why it's here. I mean, it's it's in the name. And uh, I got to just remind people because they're always like, man, I'm not getting this. I'm like, dude, they're literally testing this right now. If this was on live branch, it'd be causing problems. So until those are fixed, it will be here. Uh, I also suspect that Power Surge, our version of electricity, will be coming soon enough. There it is, the P2. This thing's a monster against these guys. I can't actually shoot him because I'm PVE and it'll do damage to me. But uh, just to give you some stats, a P2 will get, um, if you're talking about blue scientists, three head shots and six body shots. Um, either three head or six body shots will take down a scientist. So. And your magazine is 10 deep. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's crazy stuff. Up here. It's so cool. What's going on? What's up, Ballin? He says, what's going on, Big Daddy? Hey, baby. We're on the Builder's Paradise, just showing off the small oil rig. Thankfully, the scientists can't hurt me. They shoot me, and they, they get hurt, so it's nice. I can definitely hear it. Is it close? Oh, I didn't bring a card. Whoopsie. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's losing his mind. Losing his mind. Hey. So when the heavy scientists come out, the P2, it takes six headshots to kill a heavy, or 11 body shots, or 15 leg shots. Is that crazy? But um, as you're making an extra bullet per craft uh, with pistol rounds, it makes it very powerful. A python is even more lethal when you're talking about um, killing blue scientists. It's two headshots with a python, but remember, the magazine's only six deep, or I should say the, um, what is that? The chamber, the revolver part of it? You know what I mean. It can only hold six. Ooh, look what this guy left behind. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Rocket tube? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and heal ourselves here. Yep, it says all you need are bandages so you can do oil rig on Builder's Paradise. Yes, technically. You know what's crazy, though? We'll swipe this and we'll need the red card. Unless that one's somehow open. I don't think that... Hey, team! Oh, jeez! Yeah, I see. You really don't even need scraps if you start with all this crazy. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, see, look at that. He gone. Bullets all day. Ooh, did I see a Timmy? Or a uh, Custom. Ooh, baby. Can't really shoot that now, can I? Oh, it's got a minute left. Oh, somebody activated it. Perfect. We're about to see the heavies. Nice. Okay. Couple quick things. Ooh, that's the Chinook blades, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, this one's a bit trickier on small schmoil, small oil rig. Um, you really got to be quick about it. Uh, when they do land here at the top, some of the techniques can involve. Obviously, you want to uh, rip as many shots as you can, right? Like through the fence here. I like to throw F1 grenades. It gets a few of them, but as soon as you can, you have to fall back and get ready to work the stairs. And then uh, have them funnel down. But you got to be so quick because these guys, you thought the blue guys were OP and that they laser beam to your location. Heavies are way worse. They're going to be absolutely out of control as soon as they hit. Just you wait. Pretty amazing. Oh. I hear somebody. I hear somebody. Somebody's here. <gasps> oh, I better heal. What am I doing? Oh, I'm sorry. That just means it's going to open. The heavies already came and went. What am I saying? I'm all backwards, guys. Well, anyways, at least you know how the heavies work. Um, let's see. Any more fun facts with the heavies? Python takes four bullets to the head, four in the body, or I'm sorry, eight in the body, 11 in the body. So the Python having a magazine of six, or it's only six deep before you have to reload, makes that pretty rough. Although if you're working with a duo or a trio, having a combination of somebody who's a good beamer uh, can also help a lot because you can put some serious damage down on them. 
Nice, right? There you go. Small oil rigs. Unfortunately, we were unable to show you the heavy scientist as I kind of forgot to bring the card. Oh, whoops. Uh, SAR is pretty good, too, by the way. Hi. Let's walk around on level three again so you guys can see what that's all about. And yeah, you work these stairs right here with the heavies. <coughs> I'm sorry for what we're, uh. Oh my goodness. Kind of stole from someone's boat down there. I don't know who it was, but I did it. Oh man, I'm telling your mom. Anyways, let's get oh, down here. Rib. I also took your low rig, so. <laughs> that wasn't my boat. Alright, let's get out of here. This kid's not old enough to be playing. He's like, hey guys, what's up? He sounded like me as a senior in high school. I said it. Okay, small oil rig. There you go. <laughs> Man, you silly guy. This isn't real rust. You can't do that to me. You get pwned, my friend. Pwned. Play the real game, my guy. This is Builder's Paradise. Hi, have a good time. There you go. Schmoil, baby. We'll take a nice little spin around. Don't be afraid of it. It's great. We have torch side, dock side, crane side, and yeah. helicopter pad side. Helicopter pad is right over here. Boop, boop, boop. Or as some people call it pipe, because it's got the, the pipes that go into the water. Hey, not I gotta heal, brother. And we're off. Schmoil, baby. 